Hi guys, welcome back to my freaking channel. So as you can see by the title, this is a What's uh, 2K video? Um, it's basically a video of me ranting about how I got fired and stuff like that. And what am I currently doing now? Um, so yeah, that's basically it's not really a hair tutorial. I feel like this hairstyle is kind of self-explanatory if you watch the video you're seeing me um do the hairstyle and seeing what i do um long story short i was fired back in october and it kind of took a toll on me i was trying to figure out you know what should i do like is this the end of course it wasn't but i did notice that um it gave me more time to create more content and do what i really really love so um thank you miss blah 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 for firing me because you actually are the reason why i went viral on tiktok because had i been at work i wouldn't have been able to make the tiktok but thank you everything happens for a reason and that's just the point of this video like when you feeling knocked down you got to get back up and keep going you gotta keep going you can't just stop thank you keep watching my videos thank you to everybody who's played a role i do also want to add before i get into the video i know i said i was going to do the ios 14 video recorded it everything um and went to edit everything was blurry the screen recordings if somebody know how to fix that tell me how to fix it i don't know if it's the editing software i'm using but y'all will get that video it's just not going to be today because the site was on this okay um, but thank you guys so much to everybody that's reporting me, reposting me, gave me content ideas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. And I'm gonna stop talking that much. I got. Let's get into the video. Okay, a shout out to Akira and Janelle because they made me do this. <laughs> but um, I came over here today to talk to you guys about life and how life can knock you down but you just gotta keep going so that's the sermon today of this video and i'm gonna share a little bit about my experience sorry guys the mirror is like right here i'm gonna share about what's going on with me and maybe some of you guys can relate so in october i got fired from my job and it wasn't like it was like a super good job but it was a job in my field so like when i graduated from grad school this was like my first public health job and um i was super excited i quit the job i was at which was like only paying like a hundred dollars less than the job that i took on but i took that job on um because it was a job in my field and i got a degree for it so i'm like i might as well utilize it even though um that's not something that i would want to do for the rest of my life and so when i took this job on my mom and everybody was telling me like just because you know jobs offer you like give you a position or offer your position doesn't mean you necessarily have to take it and you know i didn't listen or whatever I guess it's my mom's intuition but I didn't listen and I took the job because like I said it was paying more money and it had something to do with my public health career so I took it and I was working at a call center anyway so I'm like yeah yeah let me ditch this and let me do something that I'm interested in so that's exactly what I did right now I'm just partying get half up half down I separated my bang part as you would say and I'm just making sure the half up half down part is good um but back to the story so I took the job and when I first started it it was like a living nightmare um I had a supervisor she was like of a different culture and no guys she was not white she was um, from Africa, Nigerian to be specific, and me and her did not see eye to eye with a lot of things. Um, we did not see eye to eye with a lot of stuff, 
and it's because of our cultural differences like she grew up doing things her way I grew up doing things like you know how we do it in America and um, yeah we just clash and these are like my three parts one two three so I'm working with the back right now just flat iron in the back because who chat it's a mess um so we would clash like something I would find rude that she would say that would be normal for people in Africa I guess or more specifically Nigeria or in her culture I'll say that um she like said a lot of things that made me feel uncomfortable I won't go into too much detail because I ain't gonna get in trouble for this video <laughs> um because I want another job even though I need to pay the bills my bills and my student loans but anywho um so yeah, we wouldn't see eye to eye and it got to a point where it started to get really like nasty and uncalled for as you would say. Um, I know there was a time where I would keep my office door shut just because um, they kept the lounging area. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's a mirror right here. That's why I'm looking right here. They kept the lounging area that connects all the offices like really cold. So I would keep my door shut and it'll make the room hotter. Um, or warmer at least and she would tell me like oh you know you're not allowed to keep your door shut and I would be like okay um you know is that in the policy and why and she was like oh it could be like a fire hazard meanwhile that's not why she wanted me to keep my door shut guys she wanted to be able to see what i was doing at all times and i looked in the manual there was no such thing as you have to keep your office door open because of a fire hazard even though she keeps her door closed but yeah i just felt like i was being picked on and then i was the youngest one i was the only black american that worked there everybody else was uh pretty much from africa yeah everybody there was from africa uh every all my co-workers except maybe one or two people and they were like older than me so i felt like i was being mistreated wrong because of my age and because of me now I guess understanding their culture because I don't want to say like they were being racist because I was black but I do think I was given a harder time because I was an African so like it would be things they could relate to that I couldn't and I'd just be sitting there looking stupid and um another thing we clashed on I don't mean to keep writing about this but another thing we clashed on is um her what do you call it her accent she would say a lot of things that i was able to understand and i would ask her to repeat it and yeah she would get so upset but i just i really could her accent was super thick because you know she wasn't born here and i couldn't understand her so i just like kind of like you know avoided asking her anything yeah i just did that because i mean it made it peaceful but long story short i got fired not because of something i said or anything i got fired because they put a target out on me basically so none of them really like care for me because they wanted somebody to speak spanish anyway and i got hired through the state and so the state hired me and put me at that county so when i got to the county they were expecting somebody that spoke spanish because that's what they had requested for and when i got there and they asked me they could i speak spanish and i said a little like poquito and they were just like yeah uh -uh. so basically from day one i think my personal opinion hypothetically they were out to get me or fire me from day one because i'm not who they asked for they can't hire spot one everybody that comes to them is hired by the state so 
I'm gonna put that out there. But yeah, ever since day one, they were like kind of out to get me. Um, I basically got fired over a med medical error. Basically, a nurse wrote a prescription, a bad prescription. I gave it to the patient. The patient um, didn't get sick or anything, but we had to put it on record. And when we put it on record, the lady who obviously didn't like me reported that I gave the patient the medicine. Even though I didn't write the prescription, I just followed the prescription. You know, they did that and that's why I got fired. And the lady who actually wrote the prescription didn't get fired. That's what I mean, they were out to get me from the start. And I did everything I could, like uh, we got the state involved and everything. But since I was still in my six month probation period from being hired, it was nothing they could do because they can fire and hire whoever they want as long as you're in the six months. So they can fire you as like, they can fire you basically for anything as long as you're in the probation period. Like if it was past six months, then they wasn't gonna be able to fire me for that. Um, and that's why I think it was set up because on the day that I hit six months, the, the exact day, um, I got fired. So I knew it was a setup all along, but um, it was kind of a, a blessing in disguise, as you would say, um, because I, if you work a nine to five and um, you know you have other dreams or like some sort of side hustle, it's hard to work a nine to five, come home, do your side hustle, work out, try to stretch, try to cook. Like it's so much. So you know I want to be an influencer and a content creator, which same thing. Uh, but it was hard for me to basically come home and give you guys YouTube videos. So then I stopped being consistent. Like y'all stop getting YouTube videos. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise because now I have more time to create content. I'm still looking for a good job. I know like it's pretty slow now because of COVID, but you know, in due time, I'm still making money from my business. I'm still getting like help or whatever from like you know the people that love me um yeah it's hard to create content go to the gym come back make food after your nine to five so it now gives me a lot of free time i wasn't making a lot of content because i would be tired from work and my i was putting my dreams aside dealing with this job that i hated so much um so when i got fired I wasn't like, I was pissed because of why I got fired, but I wasn't mad that I got fired. Like I, I didn't care that I did not have to work there anymore. I was just pissed at why they chose to fire me, especially fire a black person or a black woman during a pandemic, all because, you know, yeah. I explained to you guys already, but it was just crazy. Guys, I don't know where and where I left off, but <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad that that blessing in disguise happened because now I get to really do what I love and when life knocks you down, you keep going. You keep going. You even keep doing what you want to believe in. Don't let these people or, you know, these negative influences or one negative experience turn you down from your dream. What Gucci man say? Scribe for excellence. I remember when I first got fired, it was like October 1st to be exact. So after that, you know, the holidays come around and I used to be so embarrassed, like when people during Thanksgiving our family would be like oh like what are you doing like oh where do you work and I'll just be like I don't want to have a job and then it, it, it sounds so bad but you know life life happens and life definitely ain't fair Okay, so 
this is the foundation. Now all I have to do is like flip the ends. Put my little rhinestones on off camera. I feel like that gives it more of a Y2K look. Cause we was doing stuff like that back in the day. Still doing it now. Um, but yeah, so back to our conversation. I'm gonna start flipping my hair. Actually, I'm gonna start at the bottom first. Um, whether you're in school or you're trying to find a job or you're trying to get into a school or you have a test coming up, um, don't beat yourself up. A life happens. Sometimes you don't pass the test. Sometimes you don't get the job you want. Just don't beat yourself up about it and always continue to keep going. Cause child, ain't nobody gonna look out for you in life more than you gonna look out for yourself. I know that sounds terrible, but it's true. And those people that did that to me at their job, they got their karma because I still talk to people that was working there after me and they all quit. And the job that we had, oh, Baby, if one more person left after me, it would have been hella, hella work for other people to do. Cause once somebody leave, they leave all their work to someone else or they distribute the work to the other team members. And we had loads and loads of work. And so without one person, like, shall you be taking on hella work? We all had like nine cases. And so when I got fired, all nine of my cases had to be distributed to three different people, which is a lot because they already had cases of their own. So yeah, my the people that I still talk to from that job just told me that her and another person just left. So I can imagine like, yeah, that's what y'all get. Y'all want, that's what y'all get. <laughs> but in all seriousness, God don't play about his kids, and that's period. Okay, I did my little flip. And this is the final look. Hold on, I gotta, I, I, BRB, I'll be right back. Y'all, y'all like my jersey? <laughs> this is the final look. Ah, luxury by Lee on the shades, period, cool. Go ahead and cop. Ooh, ooh, hold on, let me fix my bang before I be doing all that. Her. This is my Y2K look. Oh, my arms are super hound. This is my Y2K look, guys. Thank you for watching, and just remember, don't let these people out here Think they doing something on you. Every time they knock you down, you come back up. And that's on what? Mary had a little lamb.